Hello, and welcome to the Mr. 50mm YouTube channel. So recently I bought a Fujifilm X-T1, specifically this one. You may have noticed here that uh, the X-T1 is not particularly normal in that there's no rubber coating on there. And that is because the X-T1 that I got was a bit uh, weird. So the coatings on it have basically started to peel off or swell on the one that I had or that I just bought. So in order to remedy that, I had decided to just basically take the take as much of the uh, rubberization off because uh, it was actually like kind of nasty when you peel the back. Those like all the adhesive, those kind of deteriorating, it was just not really pleasant to hold. Uh, so today we're just going to quickly talk about that. This is apparently kind of a common problem on the older Fujifilm cameras. Uh, and I guess the uh, rubber they use and the adhesive is just kind of, well, just kind of gets old over, you know, 10 years or so, which is kind of fair. Uh, but yeah, like I said, on the mind, it, it was fairly severe, so I did this. Uh, and if you want to do it too, we're just going to quickly go over what you'd actually need to do so. Uh, so first thing is you're going to need a lot of Q-tips. They're going to be pretty key to just getting, getting in there and scrubbing the stuff off. Uh, you'll also need to get some uh, some goo gun uh, and some paper towel. Uh, the uh, there's an optional step as well. You can also get some uh, like seventy percent rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol. Uh, and I primarily did that after I did the uh, goo gun to get rid of the uh, adhesive to also then get rid of some of the uh, goo gun smell. I don't, I don't mind it, but I, I don't really want the uh, camera smelling like a uh, goo gone forever. So it still kind of smells like it, and I did it yesterday, but it's, it's not too bad. Uh, so yeah, basically all you need to do is uh, first peel off the layers of the uh, of the rubberization. You can just probably do it with your fingers. Uh, it's probably not going to be fairly strong if it's at the point where it's already coming off. So like just peel the layers back. Uh, once you have that back, the adhesive strip might not have actually come out. So if that hasn't come out, you might want to also grab yourself a set of tweezers to pull that out. Cause it usually comes out as like a sheet or like a sticky, a sticky sheet anyways. However, once that's done, you're actually going to be left with just a bunch of adhesive goo. And for that, you'll need to basically go over the, uh, body with your Q-tips dipped in Goo Gone for like a couple, I guess a couple cycles, you know, go through it, clean it up, wipe it down with like paper towel or toilet paper, whatever, whatever you have, uh, then go over it again. If you see residue, then once that's done, go over it with some ice probe alcohol if you want, if not, just wipe it down and good to go. Uh, all in all, it didn't take me super long, maybe about, uh, about an hour hour and 10 minutes uh, not the worst job ever and I think the camera looks much better for it uh, and it's uh, I find it's more comfortable than the peeling rubber anyways uh, let's have a look at how that looked via time-lapse so I uh, did record myself with my cell phone uh, this will be a 30 times normal speed all right let's see
Well, hopefully that was a bit entertaining and a little informative. Uh, thank you very much. If you liked that video, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time. Bye.